We're tracking new developments in the recent layoffs in the Spokane School District. The number of Spokane Public School staff who could be laid off for the next school year is shrinking. Last month, the district announced that 325 people would lose their jobs. Now, that number is 244. 11 teachers were notified yesterday that they would get their jobs back, while 72 employees were officially laid off. SPS still has a few months to finalize its budget for next year as it works to fix a $31 million shortfall. The district said today it will likely take all of that time to make sure the decisions being made are right for the school community. That includes factoring in the changing layoffs landscape, but also a couple major decisions made in Olympia this week. Cancel y Force Caroline Warwick has in-depth coverage tonight to explain these new developments. Caroline. Aaron, before state lawmakers finished their session earlier this week, they made a couple key decisions that are going to impact school districts across the state, including right here in our area, as they try to cover budget gaps. Some of those changes will cost the schools. SPS had asked lawmakers to delay new K-3 through class size requirements, but they didn't, which is a $2.25 million cost for the district. They'll also have to cover $1.2 million for a required move to the school employees' benefits board. But the legislature also sent some money SPS's way. They'll get $1.2 million for special ed funding, and they'll receive $4.8 million one time to help with McCleary decision-related costs and to help offset costs from the SEB and the K-3 through class size changes. The legislature made one more major change for school funding, lifting the local levy lid from $1.50 to $2.50 per $1,000 of assessed value. To go to the 250 level would require the school board to do, uh, take an affirmative action to say we need to put a plan before the voters. Before the levy gets to 250, it would have to go through you on a ballot. And Coddington says the board will take some time to assess whether that's the right step to take. But there is a decision that could be made about the levy right now. We actually have a voter approved authorization already of a dollar, about $1.71 per thousand. So we could access that just basically by board action. That alone would generate $3.8 million. So what does all of this mean for that $31 million budget shortfall the district announced last month? If you take all those things in the mix and you put them together now, we think we have a pretty good budget estimate moving forward with which to work. Coddington says it equals out to about somewhere between 21 and $24 million of a net gap that they've figured out how to cover between staffing plans and savings SPS has made. The school district will have three public meetings to allow you to come and ask your questions about the budget and these changes. Those will be held in about two weeks at local high schools. We have all the details you need to know on our website. That's KXOI.com. In Spokane, I'm Caroline Rourke, KXOI 4 News.